Hey Lauren, yeah, the, you know, the thunderstorm that we ended up following out of our area today uh, was very close to becoming a severe thunderstorm, really close to that threshold. But take a look at the scene here. This is Peyton, which is just south, uh, the south end of the Palmer Divide. The road and the, the grass just covered with hail here. It looks it, at one point we had about two to three inches of hail covering this roadway and you can still see it after all this melting right now. And if you Anthony, if you don't mind panning over here to show this field, all the entire area here was just completely covered in hail. It looks like it might have snowed two or three inches and we actually got a measure. We found a few of these hailstones that were close to one inch in diameter, which would make it a severe thunderstorm. And the hail also was piled up uh, about two to three inches deep on the roadways and out here. So uh, very close. The ingredients were very close to severe limits, but the Palmer Divide, which is in between Denver and Colorado Springs, kind of sticks up and storms just kind of use it as a ramp, uh, kind of a launch pad to get a little extra lift. And that's why the Palmer Divide is always famous for producing scenes like this out here in Peyton. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. All right, Corey, we'll keep an eye on the weather throughout the state, but especially down south there. Thanks.